Hello, space and science enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a significant milestone in humanity's space adventure, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft and its propulsion tests on the International Space Station. We'll be examining the recent developments as NASA reviews the return options for its astronauts and the importance of these tests in detail. Let's get started. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft carried its first astronauts to the International Space Station for a crewed flight test. However, this historic mission didn't go as smoothly as planned. Starliner faced unexpected challenges due to helium leaks and propulsion issues, resulting in the astronauts staying on the ISS longer than anticipated. Originally, the first crewed flight test of the Starliner was planned to last just 10 days. However, for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, the mission extended to over 50 days due to technical problems with the propulsion system. Although Starliner reached the ISS safely, a malfunction in the propulsion system prevented the planned return. This issue hindered the spacecraft's ability to perform safe return maneuvers. The propulsion system malfunction posed an unexpected problem for both Boeing and NASA engineers. The technical team worked intensively to resolve the issue, while astronauts Wilmore and Williams continued their lives on the ISS with the available supplies and resources. During their extended mission, the astronauts not only carried out routine maintenance and experiments on the ISS, but also worked on resolving the technical problems with Starliner. A series of issues were identified in the pressure regulators and fuel lines of the propulsion system. Specifically, leaks in the fuel lines and malfunctions in the pressure regulators impeded the system's proper functioning. NASA and Boeing engineers conducted extensive analyses and simulations to address the problems. These efforts were crucial in identifying the root cause and preventing similar issues in the future. Ultimately, the propulsion system problems were resolved, and Starliner successfully brought the astronauts back to Earth safely. This mission provided valuable lessons on Starliner's reliability and durability showcasing how technical challenges in human spaceflight can be overcome through teamwork and engineering expertise. Astronauts Wilmore and Williams played a vital role in the future of space exploration with their patience and professionalism during this challenging period. On Saturday, July 27, 2024, engineers tested Starliner's reaction control system thrusters. This test was conducted to evaluate whether the spacecraft was ready for the planned landing of NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams in August. The results of these tests are crucial in determining Starliner's usability in landing and emergency scenarios. RCS thrusters are crucial for the spacecraft's maneuverability and its safe return to Earth. These thrusters were tested with short bursts lasting 1.2 seconds each. One of the 28 thrusters was removed from the test due to improper functioning. The other thrusters demonstrated thrust levels ranging from 97% to 102% of their maximum capacity. The results of these tests will help engineers evaluate Starliner's reliability and performance. One of Starliner's major issues was helium leaks and propulsion problems. The helium system is vital for the thrusters to operate correctly. Engineers reported that the helium system remained stable. However, problems affecting the thrusters' performance still await resolution. On-ground tests conducted during the CFT revealed the cause of the RCS thrusters' issues. Specifically, the orbit maneuver and control system thrusters tend to overheat when fired repeatedly. This leads to the loss of Teflon insulation in the thruster seals. NASA and Boeing noted that this problem could not be identified during pre-flight ground testing. Therefore, additional tests and analyses are necessary to address the issue. Starliner's next major mission, Starliner 1, is planned to spend six months at the ISS in 2025. However, due to the encountered issues, this mission has been postponed. NASA announced that Starliner 1 will now take place in August 2025, rather than the initially planned winter time frame. This delay was made to provide extra time for Starliner to undergo new tests and necessary adjustments. 
NASA and Boeing officials are continuing their efforts to resolve the issues faced by Starliner. Options such as design changes and alterations to the way astronauts work with future thruster systems are being considered. However, until a definitive solution is found, Starliner's missions will remain postponed. Starliner is one of the two systems funded by NASA to send astronauts to the International Space Station. The other system is SpaceX's Crew Dragon. These two systems were developed under NASA's commercial crew program to make it possible to send astronauts to space from American soil using American rockets once again. Crew Dragon utilizes a design based on SpaceX's successful Cargo Dragon ISS vehicle. Cargo Dragon, which is used for cargo transport to the ISS, has proven its reliability. Crew Dragon builds upon this successful design, incorporating the necessary safety and life support systems for crewed spaceflight. In 2020, SpaceX successfully completed the first crewed test flight of Crew Dragon. This historic flight, known as the Demo-2 mission, was conducted by astronauts Robert Benkin and Douglas Hurley. Demo-2 was not only the first crewed spaceflight from American soil, but also a significant milestone showcasing SpaceX's capabilities as a reliable partner for crewed space missions. Following Demo-2, Crew Dragon has carried out a total of eight semi-annual missions on behalf of NASA. These missions, named Crew-1, Crew-2, Crew-3, Crew-4, Crew-5, Crew-6, Crew-7, and Crew-8, each involved transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. Each of these missions is critical for supporting the daily operations of the ISS and conducting scientific research. Additionally, Crew Dragon has taken on missions for private companies. The three-week missions for Axiom Space demonstrated the potential for tourism and commercial flights to the ISS. These missions were significant steps in expanding space tourism and the role of the private sector in space. Crew Dragon's successes have allowed SpaceX to set new standards in space transportation and make space access more widespread. Meanwhile, Starliner continues to work towards similar goals as a system developed by Boeing. Starliner, also known as Boeing's CST-100, is a crewed transport vehicle developed under NASA's commercial crew program. The Starliner is designed with aluminum and composite materials and can carry up to seven astronauts. It is equipped with a launch abort system for emergencies that may occur during launch. Additionally, it is designed for extended stays in low Earth orbit and has the capability for automatic docking with the ISS. Starliner's first uncrewed test flight, Boeing Orbital Flight Test, took place in December 2019. During this flight, some technical issues arose, and the vehicle had to return without reaching the planned orbit. However, Boeing conducted extensive work to address these issues and implemented significant updates to enhance Starliner's reliability. The first crewed test flight of Starliner, known as the Boeing Crew Flight Test, was conducted in 2023. This flight aimed to demonstrate that Starliner is a safe and effective vehicle for crewed space missions. During the flight, astronauts successfully reached the ISS and completed their mission. Starliner continues to carry out regular crewed missions on behalf of NASA. NASA's investments in these two systems are crucial for the future of space exploration and commercial space transportation. Both Crew Dragon and Starliner play critical roles in providing safe and regular access to space from American soil. SpaceX's ninth operational mission to the International Space Station, Crew-9, is scheduled to launch as early as August 18. This mission aims to safely transport astronauts to the ISS and bring them back to Earth upon completion of their tasks. Crew-9 will be carried out using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule. The Dragon capsule is a modern spacecraft designed for astronauts, featuring numerous innovative features for safety and comfort. The Crew-9 mission will include not only NASA astronauts, but also astronauts from international partners. This will help ensure the continuation of scientific research and international cooperation on the ISS. During the mission, astronauts will conduct various experiments on the ISS, perform maintenance and repair work on the space station, and bring back important data and samples to Earth. 
Before Crew-9 is launched, there is another significant event NASA is anticipating. The departure of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft from the ISS and its return to Earth. Starliner, developed under NASA's commercial crew program, is designed for crewed missions to the ISS. However, due to past technical issues with Starliner, this mission is of critical importance. Specifically, software errors during the Orbital Flight Test 1 in 2019 and valve problems during Orbital Flight Test 2 in 2021 raised concerns about Starliner's reliability. NASA and Boeing engineers are working intensively to resolve these issues. Ensuring Starliner's safe return to Earth is not only about overcoming technical problems, but also holds significant importance for the safety of future crewed space missions. NASA aims to maintain the highest levels of safety and performance for Starliner and is taking all necessary precautions. A successful return of Starliner will signify the safe return of NASA's astronauts to their homes. This process will be considered a major success for both NASA and Boeing. Additionally, the success of the commercial crew program will further highlight the importance of collaboration with the private sector in future crewed space missions. In conclusion, the launch of Crew-9 and the return of Starliner are significant steps for the future of space research and crewed spaceflight. Successfully completing these missions will strengthen the collaboration between NASA and SpaceX and open new horizons in space exploration. The safety of astronauts will be prioritized in both missions, marking a new chapter in space research. As NASA continues to advance space exploration, the successful completion of such missions will contribute to humanity's further exploration and progress in space. These critical tests and analyses are vital for the safety and success of space travel. The challenges faced by Starliner highlight the complexity and difficulty of space research. However, these challenges also demonstrate humanity's determination and perseverance in space exploration. Stay tuned to be part of this exciting journey and continue following us. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and share your comments with us. Your feedback is invaluable and helps shape our future videos. Keep looking at the sky and never stop exploring.